Hey, what's up guys? Today I'm going to show you how to remove and replace the evaporative control solenoid from this Ford Focus with 1 liter EcoBoost engine. And more importantly, I'm going to show you a couple of tests you can do on the solenoid to see if it needs to be replaced or not. So first let me show you what you can look for if you have some live data scan tool. Since it's very important to get some live data even before you open the hood. Now to find the OBD2 port for the scan tool, you gotta go on the driver's side and open this little storage compartment. Then you press on the walls and here is the OBD2 port. On top here I've got the commanded evaporative purge, which by the way right now it had a spike. It means that the solenoid was opened. Right now when I accelerate you can see basically how it takes that gasoline from the evaporative purge canister it burns it up into the intake so it happens only when you accelerate and you basically need some time to collect that extra gasoline vapors inside the canister in order to burn it up so if I accelerate now I will get that spike but then if I accelerate again you will not get that spike so much you actually don't get it at all you can see that's basically because there are not enough gasoline vapors inside the canister to be burned up. So you gotta wait a little while and then you can get the spikes again. Here we go. Now if I want to get the spike again, you can see the RPMs. Yeah, it doesn't come out, even though the engine was around 5000 RPMs. So I hope we get the point here. Let's go ahead and remove the solenoid and test it up. We gotta open this cap in order to take out this rubber cover place the cap back in order to prevent the breeze going in there luckily on this car the evaporative solenoid is right on top here so first let me tell you a little quick how it works you've got the evaporative canister which will basically collect the gasoline vapors from the fuel tank and in order to not release them in the atmosphere that will harm the environment and it will be wasted because there are going to be a lot of gases going around they will be sucked into the intake manifold through this solenoid. This solenoid will be opened by the PCM through these two wires, which will deliver 12 volts and open up the solenoid when the computer thinks that it's needed. In order for the air to be sucked, it got to be some air coming into the canister. So that's going to be like a check valve, which will not allow the gases to come out, but it will allow the air to come into the canister. And therefore, when the vacuum will suck through this pipe, you're going to be able to suck as well those gasoline vapors. But with that being said, we got to remove this pipe, this intake pipe, because the solenoid has to come together with this nylon very hard pipes. So with a 10 millimeter socket, you've got one nut here and one down here. Next, we've got these hose clamps, which are going to be opened with a 7 millimeter socket. Down here, we've got this green safety clip. So you have to press in this direction like that. Now you're going to be able to press on this green spot and release the vacuum line. Now wiggle out this intake hose from both sides. And down here, you've got an extra vacuum line. Now if you look back there, you're going to find this connector. You got to press on those tabs. Also from the back here, press on that green and the solenoid is free from this side. Now we've got two more, the same type of connector as back there. Remove the safety clip, press on this green tab and remove the hose. I removed it together with the pipes. All right, so depending of what you're gonna find on the market, if you want to replace the solenoid, you gotta either remove these pipes or just buy the whole part together with the pipes. Since these are not so good quality, they used to break very fast, they are not flexible and they are not hard either. So it's a very bad material. But anyway, one simple test you can do guys. Down there you can see there are two pins. If you have a 12 volt battery, go ahead and connect the terminals on those two pins. And you should hear a click. You can basically hear the air circulating. So I will disconnect the battery you will not hear the air anymore and the reason you have to improvise with this test is because you cannot easily disconnect these pipes from the solenoid in order to just test it up with this hand vacuum pump which is more precise you can even pour some water in here if you want to and see if there is any leak so from this point 
you can just reinstall back the valve. So we've got this middle pin which has to sit downwards like that. Alright guys, that was pretty much it. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more videos about this car, there is going to be a link in the description below with all the videos I made about it. Also, if you want to stay tuned and see more car repair videos from me, hit that subscribe button as well. And until next time, drive safe so I can see you soon.